What's up, man? It's your boy Cho Goddamn back with another one. You know what I'm saying? On my big scar, big scar stuff. But nah, uh, I, I feel like uh, credit, well, it's not I feel like, but credit is worth more than money. You know? And I'm gonna break it down. First, what is credit? Credit is, um, Credit is basically like your face card, your face card with banks. I'm gonna try to break it down into to a way to where kids can get it. But credit is basically your face card, like it's your your is is your reputation. You know what I'm saying with the banks? It's your reputation. See, credit scores vary, can go can go down or up. Credit scores can vary from like I don't know if they can go all the way down to like one hundred or or zero. I guess they can go to zero, but credits the best credit score you can get is like a it's like a eight hundred or eight. It might you might can get over an eight, but the the best is like an eight hundred. Credit like a uh, in order to get credit, you'll either need. Well, the way I'm gonna tell you the way I did it. This is the way I know. I got a a, a secure card. It's two different. Um, or if you get a bank account with Chase, you automatically get a credit score. But if uh, I got a secure card, a Capital One, you know what I'm saying? It's secure cards and it's unsecured cards. Secure cards is cards that you put some money down like mine's was 200 i put 200 down on a secure card and then they they uh they they give you the card and your limit on the card is 200 so and your limit on the card is 200 i'm gonna just leave that right there unsecured you don't gotta put no money down you just get approved for it if your credit is already good like if your credit is like a seven, good credit. My credit is like a, my credit's a seven thirty, so that's pretty decent. I, it's not where I want to be. I want to get like a seven fifty, but or a, or eight hundred. But yeah, unsecured cars you you get pre approved, and that and that's a, probably it's worth a little more. It's worth a lot more actually. Like you unsecured cars can be anywhere from like 1200 to to like to like 50,000 like $20,000 like you like you can get it can get crazy with the unsecured but you got to build up your credit first before you can even get an unsecured so you got to get a secured one you know what I'm saying hope you stand with me young buck but Unsecured, you know, the first one I got was Capital One. Got it for $200, put $200 down, and then slowly started to build my credit from there. Now, the way you use a credit card, unless you got a credit card with like $50,000 on it, then you can like start your business. And like an unsecured card with $50,000, you can start your business. But you got to have a plan already because you're going to have to pay that back anyway. You're going to have to pay it back. But... You use the card, like unsecured cards, to build your credit. Like you use it on something that you know you're gonna you're gonna pay for anyway. Like me, I use my credit card on gas, strictly gas, like strictly gas for my car, because I know I'm gonna need money for gas anyway. So that's it, that's it. You know, I use it strictly for gas. If you use your credit card like it's free money, your credit is gonna go down to the fucking dirt. Your shit gonna be. Your shit going to go straight down because you're you going to be using it, not going to have the money. You got to make sure you got the money to pay it off. As long as you got the money to pay off whatever you pay for with the credit card, you're in the you're, you're good. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about nothing. But if you pay for a credit card, pay for something with a credit card and you broke, then you then your, your credit's going to drop. Your credit's going to just, you know gonna just deplete that's not what you want 
Just anything you pay for, just make sure you got the money for it. I would say pay for it immediately, but I was doing that. And for some reason, like my score wasn't going up as high, like paying for it immediately. Like I like I like I, I be letting it sit, like letting whatever I pay for it sit now. You know what I'm saying? I'll be letting whatever I pay for it sit now. Just so I I, I I feel like the points add up more. I could be wrong, but I don't know. But as long as you pay for something with the two hundred dollars uh, uh secure card that you get and 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 you got money to pay pay it back then you then you're good your, your credit's gonna continuously go up and the more credit you get the more money they'll give you the, then then you can get into some unsecured cards the more money they give you on on your card like the capital one i started with the 200 secured right put the 200 on there then my credit was good credit was good and then when they raised my credit limit it turned into an unsecured card so it, they raised it to 1200 the same 200 dollar credit card i had is 1200 now and they gave me the 12 the 200 dollars that i paid to get the card they gave it back to me so it's basically they gave me my money back. Now I got another 200 to spend that I forgot about. I got that 200 back. Now I can just spend that without caring. I can spend the 200 they give it, they give back without caring because it's my money anyway. And it's going to come up as a little minus on your little Capital One app. It's going to say minus 200 because they in the hole. They paying you. You know what I'm saying? They paying you for that. And then you get to spend that or you can get in a, like a check form or you can get a direct deposit to your bank account, however you want to get it. But yeah, that's how that's how the credit, the credit should go. You know, <laughs> the more your credit go up, the more money you get, the more you pay your stuff on time, the more money you get. Like as long as you paying it on time, you're good, you know, and the, and the, and the more credit you get, the less money you got to spend out your own pocket. So it's like. Say you got like twenty racks and 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 your own money, you don't even have to touch that. You can just like and twenty racks to start your business. You can just if you got say you got a, you can keep that twenty racks in your pocket. Say you got a a, a thirty thirty rack or twenty rack credit limit. You can go ahead and use that credit limit. Like you plus if you got the plan, you can go ahead and use that. Then twenty racks is more than enough to start some shit up. Then you can uh as the money's coming in, you can just pay it off. Just pay it off. And then sooner or later, you're gonna be out the hole. You're gonna be you're gonna be able to make profit. You're gonna be uh you're gonna be, you know, be able to make profit and shit. Depending on the business, depending on how how much money it, it how much revenue you get from your business, but that's all like what you plan and shit like me. I haven't gotten that for it. Like I'm thinking of like I've thought of businesses, I got a LLC and shit like that. But I really I'm still kind of not there yet. Like I'm still trying to figure it out. Like I I want to I want to do a business that has that gives me a decent revenue, like good revenue. That That's the main thing in my mind. Like I want something with, that gives me rev revenue that's worth it. That's worth having the business. But like I said, man, that's that's how you do it. I just broke it down for y'all. Shit, if I was missing anything, say it in the comments. I'll confirm it. You know, I'll be reading all the comments. If you mess with me, like, comment, subscribe. If you mess with me, if you don't, you can get up through. Shit, I'm gone.